We're here operating at Sunrise Dam uh, Gold Mine, which is part of Anglo Gold Ashanti's portfolio. The location of Sunrise Dam is approximately 50 kilometres from Laverton as our nearest township in the gold fields of WA. We're also approximately 750 kilometres northeast of Perth. So we've had a great life of mine contract uh, with Barmenko since we started underground operations here at Sunrise Dam in 2003. So 21 continuous years opening up the underground ore body, ramping up our development and, and really increasing our production and productivity with our, with our alliance partners moving forward. The tripartite agreement is essentially a three-way collaboration between Sandvik as the OEM, Barminko as the contractor and Anglo Gold Ashanti as the mine owner. All three parties are working together on this trial at Sunrise Dam to make sure that we can safely and effectively deploy and use this battery electric truck in an underground application. The TH665V is a battery powered truck. It's the largest battery electric truck uh, that operates in an underground mine. It's got a 65 ton payload and it comes equipped with auto swap, which is our patented battery swapping technology. It's definitely a lot quieter. It's a lot smoother. Like I say, you don't get that vibration. It definitely feels a lot safer as well. The regenerative braking, you definitely feel it a lot more, which is always nice. At the back of my mind and the diesels, I'm always worried about heating up the levels, you know, impacting other operators in the area. With the electric truck, it's much less of a concern. As an OEM, Sandvik recognized that our end users have a more practical understanding of these battery electric trucks in the field. We take the feedback that we receive from the end users and our customers to improve our products. Sandvik make really good products, but it's the feedback from our customers that make these products great. It's been great having the Sandvik Bev team here. As I say, this is a prototype, but having Sam, Dean, Troy and Dan on site, on call, for any sort of teething issues that might arise has been, been great. And that support is really tangible. One of the advantages of the battery electric truck is auto swap, which allows the operator to effect a battery swap from inside the cab. The operator does that using the 12 inch touchscreen display. All the operator has to do is to plug in the depleted battery into the charge system. We actually had to build a, a charge bay and that was a key component of, uh, of the trial planning stages was building the charge bay and, and making sure that we could complete a battery swap. Obviously the, the, the battery truck has got a, a joystick in the cab so that's something quite different for the operators where they're used to having a, a steering wheel. The joystick enables you to have like buttons for easy access for the important things like lights, horn, indicators. Those are really, really useful to have on the joystick. There's less movement in the electric truck, which is actually quite good. It enables you to be more present. So we did over 1,500 machine hours, which is a fantastic result. In the last month of the trial, we did 390 hours of the machine, and, and overall, there are over 540 battery swaps. So I'm really proud to be a part of the trial. It's great to be able to prototype and trial brand new equipment. It's not that often that new equipment gets delivered into the mining industry. Um, in phase two, we're really looking at exploring how this truck actually operates and really looking to get down to the, the tons that this thing can move. And from an operational perspective, look at how it fits in with the rest of the fleet. A business is made up of people and equipment, and we really want to make sure that we understand the cost of that equipment and that it's also fit for purpose in an underground mine. Our people operate this equipment and it's really important to us that they uh, have the opportunity to give feedback and trial new equipment in an underground mine. So I think a big success of the trial has been just how well it has fit in with the rest of the fleet. The crew as they operate it now see it as a truck in the fleet, not as anything special. Being able to prototype brand new machines, figure out how they operate um, is just an exciting time in the mining industry. An electrified mine completely eliminates diesel particulate and that's a really important step for the industry and to be able to control that safety risk. I'm excited about where battery electric vehicles and underground vehicles can actually take the industry and to have Sunrise Dam at the forefront with so much history is, is exciting for myself, all of our workforce. If, you know, in a future facing space I'd love to see us move towards wholly electric equipment and be at the forefront of mining heading into the next decade. Thank you.